All right, so these are 10 things that you need to prioritize first when you've got your N54. Number one, replace your charge pipe. So the charge pipe originally on the car, it does not hold up well. Under a lot of load, it's prone to cracking and leaking. Upgrading it would basically be a preventative measure, but there are also additional benefits to doing it. Another perk of upgrading your charge pipe is better airflow allows better throttle response. That, and it minimizes turbo lag. And I got that information from the site that I bought mine from, which is VRSF. And I'm really content with the one that's on my car. If you were to buy that one in particular, I bought mine for $150. Now while you're down there preventing boost leaks, bringing us to number two, change your vacuum lines. The original ones are made of a very trashy material. Hold on. That was extremely necessary. But I know sites like FCP Euro send you a hose that's really long that you can cut yourself for around $25. And that's what I did. I was actually able to replace them myself. It wasn't a super hard job, so maybe get a friend and do it. But if you're on your own, perfectly fine. You just have to make sure you pay attention to where everything goes. The number three, have your car walnut blasted at a European shop, particularly one that specializes in BMW. Valves can get clogged up with carbon. I paid about $300 for a walnut blast myself. Now to prevent oil from getting into those valves and causing all that buildup, you should get yourself an oil catch can. I myself have a Burger Motorsports oil catch can on my car. I'm assuming it does its job. An oil catch can like I have will cost you around $180 from Burger Motorsports. Now here's a fun one. When it comes to the ignition system, you want to make sure it's running strong and that means replacing your spark plugs, your coils, and your injectors. And guess what? They made 12 different versions of the injectors before they got it right. I'm here to tell you that you should make sure that there are index 12 injectors in your car. Misfires in this car are not fun. Neither are replacing the injectors in this car, partly due to the fact that it costs roughly $1,400 for all six of them. And on top of that, that doesn't include labor. And on top of that, they have to be programmed. So if you wanted to do it yourself, you've got a lot of research to do. Honestly, I did it myself though. Still cost it a hell of a lot of money. Now, if you are working on your car yourself a lot, or if you just want to be nice to your mechanic, I recommend upgrading your cow filters. If you have one of these, you'll notice that it has this long plastic or metal bar across the whole engine bay that you have to remove and disassemble every single time you want to try and reach something in the engine bay. Well, replace that thing with these simple little filters and you won't have to worry about that anymore. It'll free up a lot of space, especially for the things that you'll have to do really soon because they're coming up next on this list. Those filters will run you about 60 bucks. So you'll wanna replace your valve cover gasket and while you're at it, why not just replace the entire valve cover? And that will run you about $400. Yeah, that's a fun thing to have to spend money on. It is something that you can do yourself, but I didn't find it fun because I'm not very mechanically inclined. But if you do have a friend who is mechanically inclined, then go ahead, give it a shot. So something I'll tell you is these cars throw a lot of codes, a lot of ambiguous codes. And if you'd like to have a better idea of what they mean, you can actually scan them yourself. But I wouldn't do it with just a standard tool. I would actually download the tuning app, MHD. And you can download one of the others as well. There are multiple tools and means to be able to translate those codes. However, even if you don't plan on tuning your car, MHD does have a very convenient system for explaining your fault codes. You can install the MHD app for free on your iPhone or Android. And for the map pack, you spend $50. For the license, you spend 100. Pretty sure I've got that right. You also do have to have an OBD2 connector. I don't remember off the top of my head what the wireless one that MHD sells costs. So you could either get that or you could get one of Beamer Geek's certified OBD2 cables, and I have one of both. Now, I'm pretty sure no one likes going to the dealer, especially if you own a BMW. And I'm sure a lot of people who've owned a BMW for a while will tell you, don't go to the dealership. There are actually a lot of local Euro shops, probably near your area, that can do even a better job than BMW themselves can do. And likely, 
for a much more reasonable quote. Just find certified BMW mechanics that don't work at BMW. Honestly, that's it. I honestly forgot to count, but at least you get the point. So if you've recently acquired an N54 and you're jumping into the black hole that you are, I hope this may have been a little bit of a helpful video and I hope you may get something beneficial out of it. Welcome to the family. Get you next time.